Well, there's one major illness I think we haven't touched on it, and that is cataracts. Um, shade some light on it. Tell us the way you kind of explained uh, macular degeneration, the way you explained glaucoma. Give it, give us to us the what the patient's effect is. Uh, um, you know, much less than uh, exactly how the eye operates on it. That's we forget that. But what do we? How does it affect us, the patient, and what can be done? Uh, well, the number one way that it affects the patient is when the cataract comes on, it begins to look like you're driving in a fog. Yeah, everything looks just kind of foggy, whether you're looking uh, uh, down the road, whether you're looking at a computer, whether you're looking up close. Uh, and basically what's going on with a cataract, there is a little lens that sits just behind the colored part of your eye, the iris, that you use for focusing. And in your earlier ages, it's very crystal clear. But o over time, it begins to kind of yellow and kind of cloud up. And then it kind of gets, if it's very, very mature, it gets very, very white. Uh, the way I like to relate it to patients is... The, uh, uh, those bathroom windows that are frosted so that light comes in but people can't see in and you can't see out is essentially the effect of what's happening to that lens that's inside the eye. The lens just kind of frosts over so that you can get light in and you can kind of see shapes and forms but you can't see detail. And essentially it's that lens inside the eye that's changing its color and then it goes from just a crystal clear to a kind of a yellowish color, then it goes to kind of a whitish, grayish color, and then, uh, again, it will eliminate your vision at that particular point and keep you from doing things that you want to do. Now, the cure is, or the treatment is, is to remove the cataract, and essentially they have a surgical procedure to where they go in, they break up that cataract, and they remove it, and they put an implant in the eye, which is a crystal clear contact lens that allows patients to regain their vision. So with cataracts, you can lose your vision, but there's a surgical procedure that will get you your vision back. And if you have no retinal issues whatsoever, macular degeneration or any other retinal issues, when they do the implant from cataract surgery, you'll get your 20-20 vision back at that particular point. I see. And do people usually do that? Is surgery the only way to fix it? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the only recommended way to, uh, to fix it because if that lens is cloudy, you're not going to be able to clear that with medicine. You're not going to be able to clear it with glasses. So that is a physical surgery that's going to have to be performed at that particular point in time. The other thing about cataracts, cataracts are, again, uh, they don't happen overnight. It's something that takes a very, very long time before they get ripe or they get mature to be able to do uh, the surgery on that. So in the early stages of cataracts, we can change the prescription in there and get you to see better, but once it gets to that magic point to where we can't change lenses to improve your vision anymore, now it's recommended that you get the surgery done at that particular point. My particular cutoff point is when the we can't change lenses and we get to the point to where you can't pass the eye test to get your driver's license, now it's probably recommended that you have that surgery done so that you don't interfere with the quality of life of being able to drive or watch TV or see your grandkids play ball or whatever at that particular point. Right. Now, but it is a preventable on, disease. When you hear on radio advertising, advertised LASIK surgery, is that usually uh, geared towards cataracts? Uh, no. Uh, LASIK surgery has to do with being nearsighted, farsighted, astigmatism. It doesn't have really anything to do with the medical end of, uh, of cataracts at that point. I see. So and you can't, you can't treat, you cannot treat a cataract with laser. It has to be a surgical procedure to remove the lens and then put an implant in. Mm, very informative. I like it. Um, you know, because we, you know, to us, I mean, you know, it's all one thing, and uh, yeah, so uh, so wonderful. So basically, so it can be fixed. It's not a surgical. It's not a laser procedure. It's a surgical procedure. It should more or less be done when the correction of the eyeglasses cannot fix it anymore. Correct. Exactly. Okay. Um, all right. And then it. And and then once you've done it. Will it last one year, 10 years, 20 years, 100 years, uh, forever from there on? Uh, what's the deal on that? 
and, and again, it should last an awful long time because that implant that they put in there is obviously a plastic material. It's not a human tissue material to be able to, to deteriorate or change uh, shape, color, or whatever. It should stay uh, the same for the rest of your life. What will happen at that particular point is you may lose your vision from other reasons, glaucoma, macular degeneration that has nothing to do with the cataract. Uh, you can lose your vision that way, but you won't lose your vision from the cataract surgery at that particular point. Got it. Got it. All right. And doing that surgery. Good stuff. Very dangerous. Pardon me? Doing that surgery, very uh, dangerous, not so dangerous. I mean, every um, surgery, especially now, it got to be a little bit of dangerous. Uh, but, uh, you know, what are we absolutely. talking about here? I'm going to say moderate risks at that particular point. Uh, again, uh, they do have to penetrate the inside part of the eye. Uh, and that's always a high-risk situation. But the difference between the cataract surgery and, say, a procedure for uh, floaters in the vitreous or in the retina is the fact that uh, the cataract is done in front of the retina, so you don't really run as high a risk of, of uh, anything, uh, any infection getting up to the brain and creating other issues at that particular point. But I'm not going to say it's a high-risk procedure, but I would say it's a moderate-risk procedure at that particular point because there's some complications that can result uh, depending upon your particular health or the quality of the tissue that's remaining inside the eye. You can have some complications uh, from the cataract surgery. Uh, the biggest one is a detached retina. Uh, so those are the kind of things that we look for uh, post-cataract uh, surgery is the detached retina uh, at that particular point. Well, what, what would that mean, being blind? Uh, well, if the retina detaches from the uh, white part of the eye, absolutely. The uh, there's, uh, uh, retina has to stay attached to the white part of the eye to get nourishment, to get food, to stay healthy. When it detaches, it's going to degenerate and die, and you're going to lose vision at that particular point. Again, there's a surgical procedure that you could do to repair a detached retina. Uh, they can do it uh, with a uh, cryotherapy. They can do it with a laser uh, if it's a small detachment uh, or they can do if it's a very large detachment uh, pretty much the whole top half of the eye uh, they do what they call a scleral buckle where they push the white part of the eye back down so that it touches the retina and uh, unfortunately you have to stay with that buckle for the rest of your life at that point but you regain your vision at that point okay so basically a surgery to correct the surgery would be the thing to do if it, uh, for some reason, brings in too many complications. Absolutely. And, you know, in probably less than uh, 2% of the patients are you going to have complications from cataract surgery. So it's a relatively safe procedure, but there also is some moderate risk to it anytime you do surgery inside the eye. And those 2% who have some complications don't necessarily have that heavy complication that it, that they read that it touches either. They just have some complication. Uh, ab absolutely. Uh, uh, again, there's, uh, you're, <laughs> Not generally going to see as well if you have complications post-surgical, but you're not going to end up losing your sight unless it's a uh, detached retina that you don't do anything about uh, or if there's some other disease, degenerative disease back in the eye that prevents you from seeing clearly even whether you had the cataract surgery or not. Got it. Thanks a lot, okay. Dr. Andy.